Hello everyone, uh, this is CHR here again. So today we are working on our same module, PowerPoint module two, same project A. So once you start your project, there's like three files, instruction files and start file and then support file. So you need to download th three of them and I've already downloaded the files. So just show you like, support file, the instruction file, and then the start file. So let me open the start file and I have also open like that. So what are we going to do? Uh, here is a safeguard training in this uh, PowerPoint module true. So I'll go one by one, like step one by one. You can just follow me. Uh, so in step one, as I said, as, a, as the personal security analyst for pocket safeguard training, you provide companies with your annual ID page refresher training. You also want to enhance the first part of your presentation. Start by creating a custom design element on the slide one title slide. Focus safeguard training as follow. Use smart guide to position the yellow sun shape on the top of the purple starburst shape as shown in figure one. So what I'm going to do, as you can see here in figure one, it shows like that. Okay. okay. So let's go. But first of all, we always do, you can save the file, save as, change the name from one to two, save your file, and I can see it's going to change. So I'll click on the yellow star, let's drag it to of the purple and once you see the lines like the smart guard line then leave your mouse so it's already moved step two this want to send the yellow sun to shape to the back and then first select the purple star box shape and then select the yellow sun shape merge the two shapes using the subtract option so what i'm going to do i'll just first select the yellow one let's double click and then go to format and click on send back so it's already sent back then they want us to first select the purple then hold the control button and select the yellow and then go to merge shape and click on subtract so subtract right after that they want to change the merge shape height to 1.3 inches allow the width to adjust automatically so i'll just double click on the purple shape go to height like in format i'll go to height and change the height to 1.3 then hit enter so to automatically change the height of the purple sheet use smart guide to position the merged purple shape in the light blue box as shown in figure two so in figure two as you can see it's shown like that so what i'm gonna do i'll just drag it of the light blue and adjust it here so as you can see it's the same like in figure two and just leave the mouse so it's done then step two on slide two I'll go to slide two they want us to <clears throat> to copy the rectangle shape and then paste it on the same slide. So I'll select any one of them. I'll select awareness, control C, or you can copy from here and then click on the paste button. So you can see it's already pasted here. Then they want us to change the text of the new rectangle shape to compliance. So I'll select the text and I'll type compliance or you can copy and paste from your instruction file. So we have now the third one. Use smart guides to position the compliance rectangle beneath the other rectangle as shown in figure three. So as you can see, shown in figure three. Here, I'll just zoom it a bit. So we have a line here, right? Smart guard lines. So I'll just drag it down. Select the compliance. Drag it down below and I'll see the lines. So now it's, it's it looks fine to me, like 
parallel and horizontal line you can see and i'll just leave the mouse that's it after that they want us to select the rectangle shapes and use a line right and use distribute workly to distribute the selected object to each other so what i'm going to do i'll select the awareness then hold the control button select motivation and compliance then i'll go to format and align let's say align right okay yeah let me see align right and i'll go to align and they distribute vertically okay so now it's distributed vertically that's it step three on slide three convert the number list to parameter list okay change the layout of smart art to vertical box list as shown in figure five so in figure five we have like that okay vertical box list and then apply subtle effects so what i'm going to do i'll go to slide number three select the text control e you can select the whole text then i'll go to home we are right now in home convert to smart art then go to more smart art graphics click on list row second column two vertical box list select vertical box list click ok so let's change it to vertical box list then i'll go to and design smart art style row first one two three so that's the third note okay subtle effect i'll click on that one so it's already apply we apply the effects After that, on step number four, they want us with slide three still displaying the insert a hyperlinks to constant date text. So I'll just copy the text from here, select the text, okay? Constant update, then go to insert hyperlink or sometimes it's show like links only, click on hyperlink, if you want to copy and paste or just want to type the address here in the address bar, you can type the address, then click OK. So now it's change it to hyperlink. The text have hyperlink right now. OK, on slide four, rearrange object on the slide for a better effect as follow. Number eight, change the color to a long blue rectangle to Dark gris accent one lighter 40%. Fifth column, fourth row. So I'll go to slide four. Select, click on the long rectangle, double click, fill shape. I'll go to fill shape. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Dark gris accent one lighter 40%. This row four, column fifth. I'll click that one. They want us to apply the glow eight point levanter accent six glow shape. I'll go to shape effects, glow, row second, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Row second in glow variant and column six. The last one click on that one then they wanted to send it to back i'll click on send backward send the request rectangle to back that's done flip the quality is key, is key shape horizontally and then group the darkest rectangle the picture and quality is key shape so first i'm going to do flip the quality key shape horizontally so I'll click on quality ski, double click, go to rotate, flip horizontally. Okay, horizontal, that's it. Then I'm what I'm gonna do, I'll select, click on the long rectangle, hold the control button, click on the picture, then click on quality ski, then go to format, group, and click on group. So now it's one group. Number six, 
on slide five an id page is not highlighted the content of inserting a picture in a shape as follow insert a cube shape from the basic type section for shape and resize the cube shapes to height 3.5 and width 4.29 so i'll go to slide five and go to insert shapes basic shapes and it's second row the last one cube okay so i'll draw a cube here and then i'll just resize this to 3.5 and 4.29 so height is 3.5 which is 4.29 and then hit enter. OK, that's it. Insert the file, the support file one we have downloaded already. So I'll right click on the shape, fill, picture, and go to where I downloaded. Let me see. I have my files. Uh, here's a picture. I'll just click insert. So it's already inserted. OK. And they want us to on slide five displaying show the ruler and guides align the shapes to the guide as shown in figure six. So in figure six, as you can see, it shows like that. The lines, you can see the line. So what we're going to do, we can just drag it a bit to the middle and a bit up. So then you can see the red line and the vertical line and the horizontal line okay this a bit up that's it save you can see in this line okay so it's like that so that's what we done with step number seven okay and step number eight delete slide seven because it is no longer necessary so I'll just right click on the last slide slide seven and go to delete slide so it's already deleted okay with slide six this still is playing change the color of smart art outline to progress background to third column first row so i'll go to slide six select the outline Go to format, shape outline, and targets background two. Is first row column three. Okay, so let's change. Add slide number and footer text to complete your presentation as follow. Insert a slide number on all except the title. Don't show on title slide. Okay and enter the following text in the footer i'll go to insert header and footer check slide number check footer check don't show on the title slide and type id page refresher okay and apply to all save your file uh, go to upload submit review create save and on your last slide you will see the result okay so go to the last slide and everything goes well Thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you subscribe to now my channel. And if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you. Let me stop the recording. Stop sharing.